seeing this masks and Halloween thing popping up on my Instagram, on my LinkedIn, on my Facebook, and I'm like freaking out. I don't like scary things, but no one does. That's why today I decided to speak about fear, 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 fear. There's one specific fear that I want to address can help your life and can, can help your business. Stay with me. If you're watching this first time, check my profile, Mindset and a Business Strategies who help others overcome their fears so that they can penetrate new markets with their services and their products. I'm also a TV host of The Boss Talk Show, show where we interview successful entrepreneurs, to share their story, to shine, to dominate, to lead. Okay, let's go back to the scary things, okay? Halloween topic, fears, fears, fears. Uh, a lot of fears are blocking people to be successful. We all know that. A lot of people read books about fears, but they don't take action. Today, I want to talk about fear of failure. That is actually not fear of failure. So, fear of failure, but it's not fear of failure. What does that mean? Okay, stay with me. Look at this. A lot of people think that they're scared to make a wrong step so that they will fail, so they don't take any action. But if we go deep, really deep, and it's a mental work <laughs> that we need to do there, uh, if you maybe have this fear, fear of failure, and think like, it's better that I don't do anything, because if I fail, then um, it is not the fear itself of failure that is preventing you to take action. It is actually fear of being criticized, being called on the action that you did, on the choice that you just did, okay? So it's easier not to do anything, you know, to, to play small because someone could call you and say, hey, why did you do that? And I know this is challenging because um, there's a lot of people in the world who are on the leadership position who don't communicate with their teams, with their business partners. When uh, the team member or a business partner does something that it's not as expected, they don't communicate that on a loving, authentic way so that the person can have uh, constructive criticism and that the person will know what to improve, how to improve, and that the person still feel accepted and respected. So there's amazing organizations that do that, you know, in a very nice way, but the one who are not doing that, actually, if you had experience uh, with organizations like that, maybe you started your own business and you're thinking like, hey, you know what? I used to be great what I did and, and now I have my own business, but I just, you know, I just cannot keep, keep that same momentum. Something is blocking me. Check today with yourself, sit down and ask yourself, how deep is this fear of being criticized? And, and what, what is really the worst case scenario if it happens? Let's take this, let's take me, me, uh, me and my videos, for example. Every time when I put a video out or any other consultant coach when puts a video out or if you're putting video out, you are saying yes to a leadership. You are saying yes, I'm managing my life. Yes, I'm the one who creates this reality. But you're also open to be more criticized than the people who are not doing videos. So a leadership basically goes in hand in hand with self-discipline and goes in hand in hand with being brave enough to be criticized. Does a lot of people love my videos? Yes. Do I get a lot of messages? Yes. Do I get views, likes? Yes, I do. But guess what? I also get people who don't like my videos so much because I'm triggering there. I also get some critics there. Some People give me constructive criticism. Those, those, those are the people in my inner circle. And I respect that. That's why I say, hey, you know, thank you for pointing that out. I can improve my videos. But the other people, you know, are not so nice. But that's life. That's business. This is what makes you a leader. This is where you can dominate. This is what you say, hey, you know what? It's better done than none. It's better done than none. I'm not going to let any fear stop me. Because when you become fearless, you become really powerful. There's no problem that can stop you. There's no obstacle, there's nothing, there's no critics, there, there's no financial situation, there's no private situation that can stop you. But for that, 
You need to be self-disciplined in managing your thoughts when this inner critic comes and says, Oh, you know what? It's better that I don't put myself out there because I might get criticized and that might hurt. Hey, you know what? Hit it. Just say it like that. Hit it. <laughs> but do the work because this is where you grow. Okay. Thank you for watching this. Fear not. Be bold, be courageous, and don't forget, love, lead, and claim that power in spite of all critics. So fear of criticism, fear of criticism, fear of failure, done. Goodbye. Just do the work. Do the work. Implementation and faith in yourself. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>